Good afternoon. Welcome to Exotic PC's video review of the MSI GE70. This is the 0N-003US version. It's currently the only uh, GE70 version that's out there. Uh, this does have a 17.3 inch full HD matte screen. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that more in just a little bit here, but uh, you know, currently we're seeing MSI put matte screens pretty much on everything. Uh, for CPU, this does have that new 3rd gen uh, 3610 quad mobile in it on an HM76 chipset. Uh, for graphics, this just comes with the GT650 from NVIDIA uh, with 2 gigabytes of video RAM, but it does have Optimus in it, so that's really nice if you're trying to save on battery or or taking this out on the road um, does give you some battery saving options. Uh, for hard drive, it comes with a 750 gig, 7200 RPM hard drive. Uh, for optical drive, uh, this just has a standard um, DVD CD combo. And for RAM, uh, it has 8 gigabytes at uh, 1333 megahertz for RAM. So those are the sort of basic uh, configurations for this GE70 and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the review. Okay, the first thing uh, we just want to go over with you on this uh, GE70 is the overall look of it. Uh, this is uh, a rather new design that, that we're seeing from uh, MSI. Uh, we haven't really seen uh, an exterior finish like this in the past uh, from them. Um, it's it's very glossy, um, as I'm sure you can tell uh, with all the reflection going on. They've they've added some red trim elements in there, uh, which I think is is nice. Gives it a, a sense of style. And then on the uh, on the lid, um, they've definitely added some new uh, aesthetic features there as well. As far as um, there's a sort of wave in here with uh, red trim and and a chrome MSI logo and, and MSI has been marketing this as, as being race car inspired as far as um, you know their their design um, on this GE6 or excuse me GE70 uh, it does have the same look as the GE60 as well um, as far as you know all the gloss and and the, the little trim features etc uh, in my opinion I, I really like it um, even you know since it is so glossy and reflective it's definitely going to pick up on on fingerprints a lot more um, so that's something to consider if if that's something that's really important to you as far as you know not having fingerprints but this is definitely a, a fingerprint catcher that is for sure so okay next thing uh, we'll talk about uh, with you here is the the keyboard uh, this is a chiclet style keyboard it's 102 keys um, it is very nice. Um, there's virtually no flux to it whatsoever, which is, you know, anymore you're not really seeing keyboards flux that much. You know, two years ago, maybe three years ago, they were they were flexing a little bit more, but you're not seeing that nowadays really from any manufacturer whatsoever. Uh, one thing to note too, uh, when you do get this uh, fresh out of the box, is there's a, a little bit of plastic that's inlaid in between the keys there so make sure you uh, remove this after you unbox it. For the point device um, it is a rocker style uh, meaning that there's no uh, line in the middle that's differentiating they actually sort of teeter-totter from side to side. In my opinion it's pretty nice uh, they're a little stiff right now but this is fresh out of the box so those should free up. Uh, the point device itself I really like. Um, it does have a slight texture to it. Uh, if we can get in there and maybe you can see that. Which I really like because it helps um, you know differentiate if you're not looking at uh, the touchpad and you're looking at the screen dragging your finger over you know you've gone off the touchpad uh, because there is that that texture difference there. Uh, overall it's great. Um, it, it's not an illuminating keyboard. I would say that that would be something that would be really nice. Um, it is a keyboard made by SteelSeries. Uh, you can see their their logo there. So it's an excellent keyboard. 
Um, however, it's just not a backlit keyboard. Oh, one last thing uh, that we didn't mention uh, in regards to the point device. Uh, this up here, uh, this is going to disable uh, your point device if you're you know, typing a lot. Um, and you don't want to actually hit this while you're typing and you know mess anything up. That's what that is. Um, just to show you that there. The next thing we'll go over are the ports. And uh, we'll start off in the front here. Um, there are uh, no ports on the front, but you do have a set of, of standard LED indicator lights. Uh, your first one there flashing is actually going to be your, your hard drive indicator then making our way to the right it's Bluetooth Wi-Fi uh, battery there just right of center or excuse me that is center because there's seven lights there uh, then you do have your your caps lock uh, which will kick on the number lock and then your sleep uh, mode indicator light so you do have seven uh, a lot of laptops only have six this one has seven so we're going to way around to the right side um, you do have a USB 2.0 port and just to the other side of the optical bay there is another uh, USB 2.0 port. Your optical bay, um, there isn't any sort of eject button. Uh, when I actually first looked at this I thought you know this bar, this strip right here might eject it but you have to actually eject it from up here on, on the top bar. We'll go ahead and kick that out for you. Uh, we'll go over those uh, buttons there at the top here in just a second as well but Optical drive, um, it doesn't have an outside eject button, which I think is unfortunate. I would really like to have it there. Um, one thing to note too, um, optical drive, if you don't want one, uh, we can take it out for you and put in an SSD or an, another hard drive option for you as well. Uh, making our way uh, to the right, this is your 15 pin uh, VGA port if you want to run to an external monitor or something. Um, that's fairly standard nowadays. So your land jack. Swinging around to the back, um, there's no ports. Uh, this under here uh, isn't a port or anything. This is your hinge uh, to your to your LCD screen. Finishing up on the left side of the laptop, that is a Kensington lock jack that you're seeing there. That's going to be your power supply, and then this is our only exhaust vent, and it's actually pretty small. Um, if you compared this system to any previous MSI systems, I would say it's most comparable to the GE620DX, and the vent on that was actually slightly bigger. Uh, this vent's a little bit smaller, so in my opinion, it's probably going to run a little bit hotter. But we'll show you some uh, benchmark scores and some some heat signatures later too, so you can actually see how hot this is getting. Uh, finishing up the ports, uh, that is HDMI there on the left and you can tell by that blue in there that those are actually uh, two USB 3.0 ports. Uh, you do have a gold coated uh, microphone and headphone jack which is really nice. Um, you know MSI has been doing this on their their more gaming dominant laptops like the GT60 and GT70 models and having those coated like that it's really going to add a lot of audio clarity it's going to just enhance your audio so much more. So it's really nice that they're uh, throwing that in there. And then uh, to wrap up, you do have just your, your standard 4-in-1 card reader uh, there on the end. Okay, making our way across the top here, um, you do have two speakers. There's one there on the left. You have another one on the right. Uh, those aren't, uh, unfortunately, Dynaudio speakers. They're really great speakers. Um, on this... GE70 you actually have uh, four speakers. The other two are located uh, right here underneath the, uh, I guess, the palm rest area. And we'll actually show you those here in, in just a little bit when we pull off the back cover. Uh, you do have two speakers though, like I mentioned at the top. Um, the toolbar at the top here, uh, this is your eject button for popping out that, that optical drive that we just showed you. And right now that's the only way to pop out that optical drive unless you do it within the software. Uh, this button here is going to shut off your screen. So if you want to power that down. Uh, this is going to be your Wi-Fi to kick that on and off. I'll actually go ahead and kick that on here for you. Uh, this is going to be your turbo fan. Uh, if you really need to cool this system down, 
which like we had mentioned a little bit ago does have a smaller exhaust vent so this is something uh, you might utilize more on this system than than on other MSI's but we'll kick that on here for you and you can probably start to hear it uh, boot up it's actually kicking out quite a bit of air and it's not it's not actually very hot surprisingly but that uh, you know if you need to cool it down um, you know that's gonna help with that I'm gonna go ahead and power that down kicks right off and then you have your turbo button this is just gonna uh, you know sort of run your CPU and GPU a little bit harder than normal and then uh, P1 button and this is uh, completely programmable um, right now we don't have anything set up so it's gonna come up with this uh, user defined key you know what would you like to make it do uh, for me personally I usually you know make this you know my preferred web browser I'll just you know and put that in there and kick you know so I can get quick easy internet access uh, to the right then that's gonna be your power button there uh, you know okay we just wanted to show you uh, the screen on this GE70. Uh, it is a 17.3 inch matte screen. Uh, you know, of course, if, if matte really isn't your, your, you know, screen flavor or whatever, if you will, you want to go with glossy. Uh, we do have quite a few upgrade options uh, for you uh, on our website, which is exoticpc.com. Uh, the screen, it, it's an okay screen. Uh, you know, your optimal viewing is definitely going to be uh, direct center, of course. Um, as we swing out, uh, you know, to check the horizontal wash, I would say it's starting to wash out pretty good, even at the the 45 degree off center. Um, I think a lot of your colors are are starting to wash out by, you know, a good 20 to 30 percent. You can still see the screen, uh, of course, which is fine. But you know, if color and clarity is extremely important to you you know it's washing out more than I actually would expect hitting you know 45 50 and then even 60 degrees it's washing out pretty good but you can still see the screen which is okay uh, vertical wash as far as how much it's washing out from top to bottom it's definitely you know this is where screens perform the least best uh, in comparison to you know how much they wash out on the horizontal axis uh, this one actually isn't that bad um, there are three to mark vantage just uh, kicked off and we should see another test here in just a second but um, you know most of the time most people aren't going to be using their laptop at this angle uh, but the the up to down wash really isn't that bad uh, on this screen uh, MSI has been putting uh, you know matte screens on pretty much all their systems in this GE70 I, I would classify it as a gaming laptop um, just because of the specs you know it doesn't come with a GTX graphics card it does come with a GT graphics card uh, in my opinion the the GT graphics card that it does come with the 650 is probably the best of the cards so in my opinion uh, this is you know a gaming system uh, I would game on this laptop probably but uh, we'll get into that more here in just a little bit but Hopefully that uh, gives you some perspective on the screen. Uh, you know, if you want uh, a little bit better screen, uh, if you don't want a matte screen, you want a glossy, uh, we do have those options available for you uh, on our website. Okay, we just wanted to show you some 3D Mark Vantage scores of this uh, CPU and GPU. Uh, the CPU again is at uh, new third generation Ivy Bridge uh, 3610 Quad Mobile. For the graphics in here, uh, it's a GeForce GT uh, 650, uh, so it's not a GTX card, uh, but for score, uh, overall score, we're seeing, uh, you know, just over 10,000. And in my opinion, that's actually a pretty good score coming from just a, a GT card versus a GTX card. Uh, I mean, even looking back last year, uh, I think with the 560 uh, GTX, mobile graphics cards we were seeing maybe just a hair above this so the fact that these GT cards now are are performing as well as 
uh, you know, some of the GTX graphics cards of last model season are, are just slightly longer uh, than that. I think it's quite phenomenal. Uh, so in my opinion, uh, this is a pretty good score. Uh, this is just a standard overclock, or excuse me, this is just a standard 3D Mark Vantage score. And it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull, pull up an overclock score here for you. And uh, we'll get that popped up for you here. For overclock, uh, we only saw an extra 200 point jump. Uh, we think part of that maybe has to do with the driver. Um, you know, as these new GPUs are coming out, it usually takes NVIDIA a little bit longer to release, uh, you know, newer updated drivers uh, for these graphics cards. So hopefully we'll see those get released and, and we'll try installing one of those and maybe we can we can overclock this slightly more. Uh, but, you know, for now it's, we're not seeing much results from, from overclocking this, this GT650. Uh, for temperature on that overclock, uh, hopefully you can see it down there. Uh, we saw 67 degrees Celsius, which is, I think, right around 150, maybe a little bit below that Fahrenheit degrees. So that's not, you know, terribly high. It was overclocked, so it was running really hard. But that's about average is, is you know, a GPU temp of between 60 and 70 degrees Celsius. So hopefully that gives you some some idea of, you know, how well this... GT650M uh, graphics card will perform and, and in our opinion it, it actually isn't that bad of a score at all. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll quickly talk about the battery life here. Um, on this GE70 it does have a six cell battery so it's not as big a battery um, as you're seeing in some of the like the GT70 models that have nine cell batteries. This just has a six cell uh, this with this graphics card, it does have uh, Intel integrated graphics, so it does have Optimus, which is really going to help you out uh, with battery life on here. Uh, there really is no good test for determining battery life because it's so dependent on what each individual user is doing. Uh, for about the past hour, I would say uh, we've been filming this video review. Uh, we've been filming it uh, completely on battery. Uh, it, you know, it hasn't been plugged in. Uh, we've done some 3D Mark Vantage scores in the last hour. And for battery, uh, hopefully maybe you can see it down there. Uh, we're sitting at an hour and 26 minutes left with 73% uh, remaining. Um, I'm not sure if you could see that or not. But hopefully that gives you some perspective of, you know, we've been operating for the last hour. We haven't really been gaming. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish we were gaming for the last hour. Uh, but hopefully that gives you some idea of battery life. I mean, my estimate, since it does have Optimus, is that you're going to be looking at like three to four hours for quote-unquote standard uh, use as far as like if you're in Microsoft Office or you're just browsing the internet. Things that aren't real graphics heavy. Um, if you are gaming, I would say you're looking at, you know, less than two hours, depending on, you know, what you have your settings um, set on for your game that you're playing. So hopefully that gives you uh, some insight. It's probably not the greatest, uh, but there, like I said, there's really no great, uh, you know, battery life test on laptops currently. Okay, next thing uh, we wanted to talk about with you is just the inside or the underside of this GE70. Uh, located right here, this is going to be your your six cell battery. Uh, it simply just pops in there in the back. Uh, you do have this large uh, back cover, and I guess one thing to note is uh, on all MSIs they they put this uh, warranty sticker void if tampered with. Uh, there and if you're doing any sort of upgrades on your own and you're unsure uh, you know what your warranty does and does not cover you know feel free to contact us directly and and we can let you know if if any of the things that you're doing uh, are going to void your warranty uh, so we'll go ahead and pop off the back cover here and taking a look inside uh, up there at the top that's going to be your uh, your only hard drive. 
and this has that uh, 750 uh, gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive in it. Uh, to the right of that, uh, those are your two RAM slots. Uh, there's only two on this GE70 and there's only two on the GE60 as well. So, you know, your max uh, memory that you can get right now would be 16 gigabytes. Uh, right now there's just eight in there. Um, making our way down, uh, this is where your Wi-Fi car is, excuse me, your Wi-Fi card is. It's also a Bluetooth combo. Uh, a lot of times in the past, uh, we've seen that only accessible on systems underneath the keyboard. Um, it's nice that they're making it accessible here on the, on the underside of the system. Uh, here's the fan, and you can see the heat sinks there running to the CPU and GPU. Uh, the fan on this is smaller uh, than what we're seeing on systems like the GT60, the GT70. Uh, this fan is actually, in my opinion, significantly smaller. Um, we'll go ahead and show you here uh, in just a second uh, some thermal temperatures and uh, you can see you know how the temps are running on this. But hopefully that just gives you uh, some perspective of uh, the inside of this GE70. Uh, pretty much everything is is readily accessible uh, just with simply removing you know this uh, this back panel here and I think it was just five five screws to take it off so it wasn't too bad just popped right off and and you can get in there to clean the fan out or to upgrade your RAM or put in an SSD or you know whatever you like. Okay, we just uh, you know put the cover back on after showing you the inside. And and one last thing we forgot to mention um, up here, which is actually the front uh, underside of the laptop. Those are those two extra uh, audio speakers that we had mentioned earlier. Uh, with this GE70, you actually get four of those. Uh, so we just wanted to point that out really quick to let you know that there's uh, two speakers uh, located on the underside of this GE70. Okay, we just wanted to show you some thermal images that will be popping up on your screen here. Uh, this is just sort of to give you a, a little different perspective of, you know, overall uh, how warm uh, this GE70 is running. And actually, in my opinion, I, I expected it to be running a lot warmer. Uh, you know, we saw that one single exhaust vent uh, coming out the side, which wasn't very large. And, and on this system, the heat sinks seem to be running a little bit longer and, and farther than on some of the other MSI uh, models. And if you look at some of our other reviews, you can actually see that the heat sinks in those are much shorter than on this one. Uh, the keyboard and, and touchpad area where your palm rest is, that's all actually fairly cool. Uh, I expected, you know, again, for it to be a little bit warmer, and it's not, which is, which is great to see on these thermal images. If you look at the AC adapter, uh, it's, you know, 120 watt. It's been running for about an hour, and it's surprisingly cool. Uh, if you get into some of those 150, 180 watt AC adapters, you're seeing temperatures of you know a hundred degrees and and this is keeping pretty cool um, you know again with even more uh, prolonged laptop use uh, these temps are going to go up a little bit but it's nice seeing you know where you're physically touching the laptop like the keyboard and palm rest area see those areas under body temperature so they're always going to be cool to the touch so hopefully that gives you a you know a different perspective on on the temperatures of this GE70. Okay, next thing uh, we just wanted to show you really quick is the BIOS um, on this MSI GE70. So we're powered up, and you want to hit delete uh, right when it powers up to get you into the BIOS. Now, in any laptop BIOS, uh, you can't really do a whole lot. Um, on your main screen, that's where you can set up your system date and time. Go down to your SATA information. Uh, let's see here. Uh, SATA mode. Um, if this did have RAID, um, where you could set up RAID between two drives, 
Uh, this is where you can set it up. This does not have, uh, it's not RAID capable, unfortunately. Uh, boot, you can just change your, your boot up priorities, uh, security, if you wanted to set up a system password and, and save and exit. So, you know, again, there's not a whole lot that you can, you can do within any BIOS. Uh, we'll go down here to system information. Uh, you can see that this again has that 3610 quad mobile in it. And then for memory, it just has, uh, two DIMMs and it, it has uh, two 4 gig sticks in it right now so uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit perspective of of the BIOS uh, you know there's not a lot you can do really in any system laptop BIOS but uh, hopefully that gives you uh, some idea okay we just wanted to show you how this GE70 is going to come um, it is going to arrive uh, double boxed from Exotic PC Go ahead and pull out. Uh, this is going to be all your um, accessories and such in here. Uh, your battery. Uh, this is your six cell battery. Um, all your information as far as like your warranty information. Um, this this stuff is important. Make sure to hang on to that. Uh, your power brick. Uh, this is just 120 watt. And your power cord. Slide that over really quick. Pull out GE70. It's going to come nicely wrapped in plastic. Um, it is going to have a nice uh, protective sleeve on the inside of the plastic as well. Go ahead and pull that out. And there you go. That is how uh, your GE70 is going to come boxed. And uh, that's how it's going to arrive at your door. And thank you for watching Exotic PC's video review of this GE70. This is the 0N-003US model. Uh, we expect to see some, uh, some other versions of this coming out in June of, of 2012 with possibly some better graphics cards. Uh, right now there's only rumors speculating, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, this is definitely a, a new, uh, flashier uh, MSI model that we've seen in a little bit. Uh, definitely check it out on our website, which is exoticpc.com. That's www.xoticpc.com. And, uh, you know, configure yours any way that you like. Um, you know, if you don't like the finish of this uh, GE70, we do have some, some skinning and some new uh, customization options. Uh, available for you. Uh, but we hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, let us know what you think below in the comments box on this video. And definitely let us know uh, if there's any other video reviews that we, you would like to see. So thank you again for watching and, and we'll see you next time.